Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and in this video, I'm going to be reacting to Cis Anger Live by Baby Metal. This video I'm recording right after I just recorded uh, the Rondo video from Baby Metal. So if you've put some comments and some things that I should know, I'm not going to know it in this video yet because I haven't seen your comments. Uh, the last video I watched, there was like a great drum solo and guitar, both guitar players and a bass solo. Really cool. It was a longer video. This one looks a little shorter, three minutes, 47 seconds. And this was recommended as well to me by you guys to see some more of the diversity that is within Baby Metal's catalog. So excited to listen to this one. And uh, again, I think it's uh, Hideki or Hideki is the drummer and the band is uh, Kami Band or Kami Band. I'm not sure how to say it. You guys can tell me down in the comments. As I said, if you told me on the last video, I haven't seen those comments yet. If you look in the description below, you'll find a link to get $25 worth of Bitcoin when you trade your first $100 using Voyager app and my link. And uh, I enjoy Voyager a lot. I use it uh, weekly. And so I recommend that to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. Also lessons and covers and some other things that are over on my channel. Go check those things out. Let's get into this reaction and analysis. Oh, I guess I should say I focus on the drums in these things and try to break down what the drummer is doing. Uh, I've been making music since I was a kid, so for about 30 years. I play drums and guitar and sing and some other instruments, things like that. I just like hanging out with you guys and watching these videos that you recommend to me and just sharing my thoughts with you. So hopefully you enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, so we got 16 note triplets going on on the bass drums. So one to or one to one to one Anyway, those are hard to count that fast. <laughs> All right, some blast beats going on. Oh my goodness. So I'm not a metal drummer. I guess I should say that. Uh, I grew up playing jazz and uh, kind of uh, music in church, like kind of rock stuff. So I'm not a metal drummer. So a lot of this stuff, I know what's going on. Definitely can't play it. I don't have these kind of double bass drum chops, but 30 second note triplets into a blast beat. Wow. All right, so that's amazing because it's like a triplet bass blast beat. So he's playing, if I slow it down, it's he's playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or if you count 30 second no triplets, uh, I count them as like uh, one and a one and a two and a two and a three and a three and a four and a four and a. So he's got one and a one and a two and a two and a three and a three and a four and a four and a. And he's playing snare kick kick snare kick kick but the kicks are going the whole time and then he's interlacing a snare drum and a bass drum together so he's playing one two three one two, so one and a one and a one and a one and a that's really tough really tough sounds cool all right so the last videos we watched he was playing 16 notes digga digga jigga digga 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 jigga digga now this is a like a 30 or a, a 16 note triplet bass groove so it's got more of that kind of like rock shuffle kind of a feel to it so All right, halftime. So now, so it's still triplet based, uh, but now it's like half the tempo uh, as what he's playing. So instead of playing 16 note triplets, he's then playing just triplets, quarter note triplets, or excuse me, eighth note triplets. One two three, 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 one two three. He's got the same kit, double bass drum, 10, 12, 14, 16 inch toms, I think. So we, we talked about his drum set in the last video. Not gonna spend too much time talking about it in this one. Still 
Still triplet base. That was a that, that was triplets going into a 16 off field. Interesting. All right, <laughs> now we're going to the punk rock. All right, so this is a 16th note base. So we were one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Back to triplets. <laughs> There's that blast beat, man. This guy's got chops. He's got a lot of chops. The whole band has got crazy chops. Look at the stage moving all around. That's crazy. All right, so I noticed something that the drums are doing here. So the bass drums are just constantly going 16 note triplets. But he's playing with the feel of the song by just changing up the cymbals and the snare drum. So the bass drums are constantly playing. Right, and I'll try to accent that so you can hear it. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. But then with the snare, I can accent like one, oh. Uh, like that, so like what he's doing, or then I can just accent single one. So as he's playing through, he's changing the feel of the music by keeping the bass drums the same, but then switching up what's going on in the snare. So I'll try to demonstrate that. So first the double one, so it'd be like double time, and then. So it's an interesting way to make the music feel different while keeping the kind of like ostinato of the bass drums carrying on. Really cool. So this is still so weird. Now we're like, we've cut the tempo in half, so instead of going, uh, triplets. One, ti ta 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 That was a cool fill. All right, into the blast beat. All right, so this is interesting. So he's playing a blast beat, da, 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 right? So like 16 notes, but the guitars are playing triplets. Do, 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 do. So you have these kind of rhythms kind of like interlocking or interlacing over top of each other. So listen to the guitar and the drum interplay in, in this section right here. So you hear the guitar. Playing those 16 note triplets. But then the, then the drums are. So there's like this juxtaposition of these two rhythms going over top of each other. Interesting. Back to the triplets. I like that move. <laughs> wow, there's some really, you hear those double bass? That's fast. That's really fast. My goodness. So that was like 30 second notes on the, on the bass drums right there. Back to the triplets. 
Oh, I heard the splash symbol. All right. Wow. Yeah, that was really good. The band is great. Uh, I, I, it wasn't my favorite like melody for a song. And so there's two things going on for me listening to Baby Metal. One, I don't speak Japanese, so I have no idea what they're saying. And two, unlike the last two songs I listened to, which were really melodic and the singer, uh, he was singing a lot of nice notes. Uh, this one, not my favorite as far as the singing goes, because the melody was just uh, kind of mon monotone throughout the whole thing. Um, and this might be your favorite song, and that's okay. Listen, just because it, it doesn't do it for me, doesn't mean that you can't like it. The, the great thing about music and art is that we all like different things and uh, different songs speak to different people uh, different ways. And so I would never listen to a piece of music and say like, oh, that's a terrible song. I would just say, uh, not, not that I think that about this song, but I would just say like, oh, I don't like that song, but I'm glad that you like it. And so that's, that's a cool thing about music. And so one thing like I noticed down in the comments, sometimes people will be fighting over what song is good or whether a band is good or not good and like I don't think that we should get into that discussion whether like a band is good or not like if a band has fans they're good because they're making music that certain types of people like and no matter how good you are somebody's not gonna like what you're doing like you could be the greatest musician in the world and there's gonna be somebody out there who doesn't like it and so um it's okay. So if you like baby metal and you love them, like don't let anybody get you down by saying like baby metal's terrible or like I don't like this or I don't like that. Like if you like it, that's great. Um, the, the band is amazing, and I know the singers have 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 great voices and they can sing a lot of notes. I just didn't particularly like this song. Um, the 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 vocal part, the the music part was really really interesting, and I really enjoyed it. So thank you guys for sharing this with me. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And uh, if you look right over here, you'll find two other videos that YouTube's gonna recommend to you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. Jump on my channel, check out some of my uh, lesson videos and my drum covers and uh, product reviews. I, I, I try to do a little bit of everything over there. Uh, right now, this you know last few months, I've been focusing on reaction videos and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.